I have another exciting new toy for you guys. Um, here at Rocky Mountain Sewing and Vacuum, we have just gotten the new Brother PR680W six needle embroidery machine. So Brother has made a six needle embroidery machine for a long time, but they've added some new features on this, this guy that I'm so excited to show you. If you have never seen a multi-needle machine before or think this thing is big and scary looking, um, I assure you it is not very scary at all. Um, what is so nice about these guys is that you can take the hoop off and you'll see the bottom of it here is really nice and narrow. So it makes it very versatile and very easy to do some of your harder to hoop projects. So like a hoodie, you can do the sleeve of the hoodie. You can do um, shirts. You know how a lot of them have a little design right here in a professional setting. You can do that. Um, it also gives you the ability and option to do a ball cap if that's something you're interested in. It really creates a whole new world of versatility for you. Um, I see a lot of people come in with like bridesmaids gifts of tote bags or the bridesmaid robes or things like that. The sky is the limit with these guys. And if you are starting an embroidery business, this is a great machine to get started with. The 10 needle is fantastic, but sometimes that price point really is kind of scary. So this one is a great one right in the middle that will get you pretty far. You don't have your camera, but you do have the new laser they put in here, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So I'm going to put the hoop back in. Maybe. There we go. And let's talk more about this guy. So you'll notice that there are six needles on this guy. You get six tensioners. They're not too hard to thread, which is great. Not to mention on the machine itself, there are tutorial videos. So right here, it'll tell me every sing single thing I need for threading, including how to put the bobbin in, which is awesome. It'll kind of walk me through all everything I need to know. So I love that because sometimes it just gets really intimidating. Plus there's also videos on here that show you what to do as well. And that is just awesome. Cause when you, if you're anything like me, you embroider in the middle of the night when you probably should be in bed and there's no one to call for help. So it's nice that there's some help already on the machine loaded for you. The other thing is that you'll notice it's got a couple extra features. So we can save designs to the machine just like we always could or to a USB stick or your computer, but they also added Wi-Fi capability. So if you have the PE design software and you're digitizing something for a customer and you want to send it right to the machine and get going, um, as long as it's connected to the same Wi-Fi as your computer, you can send it, get it loaded, and then you don't have to worry about a USB, wondering where the heck that little thing went, or any of that. You can just get it on the machine, ready to go, ready to roll. It's amazing. Not to mention, there's tons of new designs on this guy. So if you look in here, we've got a couple different sections. Some of them are going to be pretty similar to old six needles in the past. But what I want to show you is that laser pointer. So I'm going to pick... A random design. Let's do, let's see. Let's do the little stopwatch here. And I'm gonna hit set. So this page right here looks just like normal where I can resize, rotate, move it around, do what I need to do to make it look good. Um, if I go to edit end, this is where the magic happens in my opinion. In this screen, I can work on placement. I can add a basting stitch around it if I need to add topper or something to it. But my favorite part is gonna be the laser. So right here, we see this little needle point with the laser. And if I press it, it's going to show me exactly where the center of that design is going to land. Now, if I'm trying to do something, and sometimes I don't always hoop the straightest or I hoop it not quite center, what I can do is say I have this, and I'm going to mark it on here. So I'm going to do a little marker and give myself a little crosshair. And say, I want to make sure that this lines up with that little crosshair that's right there. Um, what I can do is there's this button right here that I can go to and I can choose if I want it, the laser to be in the center, on the top, in the corners. So I'm gonna choose this bottom right, left, that's your left, bottom left corner for now and hit next. So what it's telling me is select the alignment direction if I wanna go this way or that way. So I wanna go up and down first. I'm gonna hit next, and it's gonna try and find that number one for me. And then I can move one needle position, two needle positions, or three needle positions. I can scooch it over until my laser is pretty much right on top of my crosshair. Almost there. Oop, going too far. And up. There we go, I think we're pretty much there. 
and then I can hit next. And then it wants me to make sure that I'm going straight up. So ideally with this specific corner, I might've wanted to mark the two corners of the design. I'm gonna call that pretty close to straight though. So I can hit set and you'll see on my hoop, my design just moved. Then when I'm ready with that perfect placement and everything, I can go to embroidery. It tells me exactly where to put the threads. My threads aren't quite in the same color, so we might have a little bit funky of a watch. But from there, it even shows me where those are. I can hit unlock and press go. And it starts stitching for me, which is so much fun. And there we go. It's always fascinating to watch a multi-needle embroider, I think, because it does it so quickly. All right, and so from here, I would be ready to go to the next color. You probably noticed that it's sped up in the middle of that. Um, I actually can move the machine up to a thousand stitches per minute on this guy, which is amazing. I think the lowest number I can do is 500. No, it's a little less. It's 400 stitches per minute. So that means if I'm doing something a little more complicated, I can slow it down. But me and my speed demon self, I really like to go fast. So I like to put it at the fastest one I can. Um, alongside of that, if a thread breaks or something, it will notify me on the screen. Same with if the bobbin runs out, it'll let me know on the screen and give me the option to jump backward, which is really great. And then I've also got the reserve stop option here too. So you notice that little hand pop up. Basically, if I'm trying to do applique or like a letterman jacket, I can tell the machine, hey, on this step, I wanna stop. And you, if you really are motivated, you can go on the last screen and do that in between each one, depending on what you're doing. Like I know um, a lot of letterman jacket you have the bottom and then you have the fluffy stuff and then you have one more layer so you can stop it in between all those layers so you can go walk away and come back and fix that so overall this is a fantastic machine to get you started with an embroidery business or just to up the amount of embroidering you can do it is a lot of fun and i definitely say you should come check it out and play with one yourself because there is nothing more powerful feeling than getting this guy started and rolling because oh my gosh is it a powerhouse of a machine so thank you for joining me. Enjoy Tech Party and definitely try and play one or play on one next time you're in the store.